Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of 12 on Health. You're watching News 12 Connecticut, as local as local news gets. Now, there's a growing demand for natural energy boosters. For example, many NFL athletes swear by chia seeds to help them perform. And it's not just pro athletes who would like to up the ante naturally to increase endurance, reduce muscle soreness, and soothe those aching joints. Pharmacist David Foreman says he knows exactly what leaves and seeds will achieve all that. Foreman is known nationally as the herbal pharmacist. And it's funny, I picture you, Dave, I picture you like as a pharmacist, you know, filling the bottles and then saying, no more meds. <laughs> sort of, kind of. Is that what happened? I, got, I just got burned out. I was very successful in my pharmacy and uh, I decided uh, just for health reasons, kind of weird. I was not overweight. I, you know, lived a healthy lifestyle, but my blood pressure was high from the stress of being too successful, if you could believe that. Wow. Got into natural health around that time, sold my pharmacy, just kept pursuing more education, and here I am today. So you, your change in lifestyle brought your blood pressure down? Yeah, immediately. It's so funny how people don't realize that you have to get, dig to the root of your health issue before you can really address it. Yes. And, you know, the reason I had high blood pressure wasn't because I was overweight or, you know, consumed too much salt, but it was because I had a lot of stress in my life. Interesting. What is it about chia seeds <laughs> that has the NFL players swearing by them? Uh, they were uh, used by Aztecs. These uh, runners in in, uh, in Mexico would, would run 50 to 100 miles, you know, at one clip, and all they would carry with them was chia seeds. So they're uh, they're high in complex carbohydrates. So anybody that's ever training for a marathon or some endurance activity, they always say uh, consume more carbs. Well, complex carbs are really important. Uh, they're also high in protein high in omega-3s, high in calcium, uh, high and in antioxidants. what do you do, sprinkle them on your cereal? Yeah, we literally, at our house, we put them on our salad. Uh, I'll put them in my oatmeal after it's done cooking. When I make brown rice, I'll sprinkle it on brown rice. Uh, I had green beans one night, I sprinkled them on there. They have no flavor, they're a little crunchy. If you don't like the crunch, you'll, you put a little water with them and they absorb water really fast. Okay. They're, uh, even though they're a seed, people with uh, diverticulitis and other digestive okay. issues can, can consume them without grinding them. Turn them, them into powder. Yeah. There's yeah. This, this bar that you, we actually, <laughs> this is his personal stash. My stash, He's right. like, you're not going to show that, are you? I said, yeah, we want to know what you actually I'm going to make a mess, but this is, this is actually, I don't know if we can even, uh, where do I put my oh, hand there out? you go. Yeah, yeah we could see that. These are ground up uh, chia seeds. They're probably smaller than a poppy seed. They absorb um, about 30 times their weight in water. So okay. they're great for part of a weight loss program. <laughs> what am I going to do with this now? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to go, Whoa. I'll and, carry it out with me. <laughs> in his stash, he wasn't planning to talk about this, but he's got omega, what is it's this? It's called Core Omega. This is, um, uh, this is a, an omega-3 fish oil, but it's pre-emulsified, so you don't burp it up. A lot of people uh -huh. burp fish oil. Uh, because they have trouble digesting the fat. So these are in little packets. Air and light never touch it, so it's never fishy. Okay. Uh, this one's lemon lime flavored, but it comes in chocolate orange and oh, uh, mango. Where and, do you find something like that? Uh, I'm a customer of the vitamin shop, and okay. um, I think this company even sells direct online. But yeah, that's why I was, I'm really sad that we brought All my right. baggie out. I'm here. sorry, the baggie. We'll, we'll put the baggie away. Let's stick to uh, show us these supplements okay. that you're recommending. Um, so chia is great for energy, especially endurance. You can use it throughout the mm -hmm. day. It's not a speed type of effect. The next one is called Carnapure. It's a, a, a specific type of uh, carnitine. It's purified. Carnitine is what gets the good fats into your cell to use for energy. Ah, so you, that's but where again, the endurance comes in. Exactly. It also helps with recovery after a workout, even if it's just gardening or golf or brisk walking. Yeah. Um, I ran the LA Marathon for an organization called Vitamin Angels back in March. This was part of my training program as well as the recovery uh, post-marathon. And I'm not a runner. So <laughs> Ask this, any of my friends. I hate it. <laughs> does this also help with the joints then? No. Actually, we'll move, we can move on down the line. Uh, this is an ingredient uh, called celadrin. If you go to your local uh, health food store, you'll see six or seven bottles that all different brands. The ingredient's called celadrin. This helps with uh, the uh, lubrication in your joints, uh, helps fight inflammation. So it's great for one of those preventative types mm. of pain. They also make it in a cream. Uh, I use this, actually my son just drained this. Uh, he pitches in baseball. Uh, this is, I'm a big skeptic on topicals for pain. Right. This stuff, literally when you put it on, within 20 minutes your pain is Does gone. Does it smell? Um, very faint odor, which goes away. It's not greasy. So you could put it on, wait about 10 minutes, put your clothes okay. on, and you won't have to worry about, you know, sm <laughs> smelling like Bengay. Bengay. Right, yes. Exactly. And the last thing, um, there's a lot of people I call pay me later people. This is a, this contains an ingredient called perluxin. Perluxin comes from hops. And um, my, my saying for this is it's herbal ibuprofen. 
I'm, oh. You can't really say that they're exactly the same, right. but you don't get the stomach upset. The pain relief really happens uh, quick, like it would with an ibuprofen kind of tablets. So and it's, it's due to the hops. Hops. Is, you know what yeah. men will want to know. <laughs> yeah, about the beer, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I don't think you can consume enough beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't go challenging <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you won't feel the pain for sure with the beer, but no, um, prolexin is a great ingredient. Uh, this is just one of the, actually, it's uh, what I use at my house. Great. We have a break coming up, but I wanted to ask you one last question because you are a pharmacist. Um, when folks decide to go natural with some of these products, um, it's important to talk interactions with actual drugs if they're Definitely. on any. Oh, there's no doubt. I always tell people consult with their doctor or healthcare provider before you start any supplement program. Regretfully, most healthcare providers don't know a lot about it. Um, and if you get the answer that you're not happy with, you can always seek other people that might be more open to going natural. Mm -hmm. uh, as a pharmacist, my credibility means more to me than any dollar. And uh, I really don't want to ever hurt anybody. And that's, mm. that's my main thing is to really just help people achieve a healthy lifestyle. And you can achieve it going natural and without drugs, but sometimes you have to do both. Gotcha. So talk to your doctor. Definitely. Even They seem so natural and harmless, <laughs> but they can interact with yeah. drugs. Most of these are relatively benign, but it's still a good idea to check out you know, more information with your doctor. Thank you so much, Thank David you. Foreman, the herbal pharmacist.